Back in 2016, the spring, they thought I was having a heart attack and, and uh, of course, through some x-rays, discovered uh, a good-sized nodule in my lung. When I actually had my PET scan and, and saw Dr. Bedard and, and got the news that it was actually lung cancer, uh, we were pretty shocked. To say the least, I left and uh, it was not one of my better days. It was a, a pretty, uh, I think, difficult uh, meeting for him as a lifelong non-smoker to be found to have a, a nodule in his lung, suspicious for a lung cancer. For Tim, it was, uh, it was quite a hurdle to get through. And, and I think one of the things that, that has helped him um, and, and really we have benefited from is, is his efforts in terms of raising awareness uh, for lung cancer, its treatment and approaches, and, and also to really destigmatize the, the disease through the Give a Breath Run. Give a Breath really began to raise money and bring awareness, but through the campaign of doing this, I learned so much about the stigma surrounding lung cancer that it's considered by many people to be a smoking disease, and it is not. So many people are non-smokers or considered non-smokers because they quit 30 years ago, and we felt that there had to be a change. I think Tim represents, uh, a, a, sadly, a, a growing population of patients that we see that wouldn't qualify for a, a screening test or anything like that because they've never smoked in their life. Uh, and so it's really important for, I think, that message to be out in the community that, uh, that lung cancer is a disease that can impact uh, anybody. So the money this year for the research, I'm excited to say, is going towards uh, early detection. So a focus of being able to determine what the biomarkers are through a urine test, a blood test, and have those opportunities for early detection. We have developed in a small population of patients a signature, if you will, um, which tells us with pr pretty remarkable accuracy whether a patient does have a lung cancer. This next step would not be possible without money. You need money to do these larger trials, um, and it's very difficult to obtain research dollars. Given the circumstances, um, we knew we had to change the walk run, like everyone, so we made it virtual. The part of it was going to be virtual to begin with. So now we've moved it virtual for the entire event and moved it to August 8th and see more and more people beginning to sign up and choose to have small groups of walk run wherever. We still plan to have prizes for top runners and top donations and some other things. And uh, so we're excited we get to proceed in this manner, even though it's virtual.